Hey guys, I'd like to welcome you to a new video. Not only does this video serve as a project announcement, but it's also part one to a new series. I'm going to be making a piranha plant or a man-eating plant. I'm going to be showing you how I do it along the way in time lapse. To make my piranha plant, I'm going to be using a can. This was a can of sliced pineapple. Um, you can use a flower pot, but I want to use a can because this was going to be thrown away anyways. And even if you're going to use a flower pot, this could be set down inside it and you can stuff aluminum foil around it. Uh, it's a good, like a base, it's a good base to build this upon. And I'm going to be using some aluminum foil, some polymer clay. Uh, you could use Sculpey Original, it's the cheapest kind. Uh, I'm using this because I really like it. It's a mixture of Super Sculpey Firm and Super Sculpey. Uh, this is going to be my copper wire that the plant's going to be built onto. It's pretty sturdy. You probably don't need something this thick, but that's what I'm using. Some smaller galvanized wire, masking tape, some needle nose, and something to cut with. This is pretty much all the stuff I'm going to be using for now. To start this off, what I want to do is I want to put a layer of clay around the outside of this, a small little lip on the inside, and another little one on the outside to make it seem like it's a pipe. Uh, if you're going to sit this down inside a flower pot and stuff something around it, just don't worry about this part. The mouth of the plant, I'm going to shape out of foil and cover it with some sheets of uh, polymer clay. Then I'll bake it and cut it apart and then I'll start working my magic. I do hope you enjoy this. Uh, let's get started. In order to figure out what size the head should be and at what angle and stuff, I'm going to pre-shape some clay and temporarily just fasten it on there. And I'll build an aluminum core to basically mimic that afterwards. Slightly smaller than what this turns out to be. Uh, this is just going to be a guide to give me a visual image of you know, in proportion how big it should be, you know, compared to that can and everything. So basically, this is a prototype, if you think about it. I need it hollow. In order to be hollow, I have to build a core slightly smaller than this, cover it in clay, and then cut that in half. That should give me a shell of two pieces. And I really like how that looks already. Now, this will have its mouth open. It's not going to look like that. That is a start to a piranha plant. Always pre-wrinkle your foil because it becomes a better bulking agent that way. And I use tape to protect the clay and in this case it'll come apart easier should. Covering this in clay, I'm trying to do this in as few pieces as possible. So the best way I saw was just to do a two piece, you know, top and bottom. I'm going to be cutting it along that seam line anyways. So it doesn't really matter. And then I add two pieces of clay on the top and bottom. So when I poke my hole, I'll be poking a hole there. And then later after I bake it, I'll be pulling it apart. And that's going to be where I fasten everything together. Um, not sure if I needed to do the inner rim like that, but I like how it looks. And I added a little bit of TLS to make sure this, you know, sticks pretty well. I'm not sure if I needed to do that either, but this is pretty much it for this video. Read the description. I'll let you know a few things I probably forgot to say. I really, really appreciate you guys for checking this video out. It means a lot. Um, be on the lookout for part two and that I'll be working on the piranha plant's head. Uh, in particular, it'll be the gums and all the details inside the mouth. Uh, sorry for the delay in videos. I've been a little distracted, but once again, it means a lot. I really appreciate you guys. You're all awesome, and I will see you here again soon. Thank you so much for watching.